Good morning. Authorities are continuing a massive clean-up following an oil spill in the Bay of Gibraltar. Department of Environment officials have been at the scene in the Rossier Bay area supervising works to clean oil from the coastline. A vessel, the Gas Venus, flying the Panamanian flag, experienced an overflow of its tanks as it was refuelling in the southern part of the Poniente Anchorage on the 1st of August. The incident has forced the suspension of operations in the port since last Tuesday. The amount of oil spilt in the sea has not yet been quantified. In a statement, the government of Gibraltar said substantial improvements had been made at the weekend. Passengers on the C1 local railway line linking Malaga with Fuengirola were stuck inside carriages for two hours yesterday. A fault on the train brought it to a standstill between the stations of La Colina and Los Alamos, both in the municipality of Torremolinos. According to information provided by the rail operator Renfe, the breakdown occurred at 12.45pm when the train was running with high occupancy. Passengers were transferred to another train. Given the number of passengers, Renfe technicians requested help from the local police and the Torremolinos Fire Brigade. Marbella Town Hall has given the owner of a boat stranded on San Pedro Beach seven days to remove it. The sailing boat has been on the beach for over two weeks and the town hall is trying to locate the skipper to ask him to take responsibility for its removal. According to several witnesses, the owner is an elderly foreign man who lost control of the boat during strong easterly winds while sailing in the area. The boat has suffered considerable damage. If he doesn't come forward, the council will take charge of the removal and pass the cost on to the owner. And now that July's numbers are in, the European Climate Monitoring Organization made it official. July 2023 was Earth's hottest month on record by a wide margin. July's global average temperature of 16.95 degrees Celsius was a third of a degree higher than the previous record set back in 2019, so the Copernicus Climate Change Service announced yesterday. Normally, global temperature records are broken by hundredths or tenths of a degree, so this margin is unusual. The month was 1.5 degrees Celsius warmer than pre-industrial times. Studies that use tree rings and other methods show present times are the warmest since the beginning of the Holocene epoch around 10,000 years ago. That's the latest from GRE. I'm Bob James.